welcome back to our virtual channel, your virtual teacher. This is Teacher Judy. We are going to use compound sentences to show problem and solution. Let us begin our lesson by looking at the pictures. Give a sentence from the given pictures. From the picture, we can say, Children are nurturing plants. That can be our first sentence. Now give another sentence. Another example sentence can be, They are sweeping the plant's dried leaves. Now we have two sentences taken from the given pictures. Let us combine the sentences into one sentence. We can say, Children are nurturing plants and they are sweeping the plant's dried leaves. Notice how we combine the two sentences together. We use AND to combine the two sentences. We now have one new type of sentence called Compound Sentence. In this lesson, we are to use compound sentence to show problem and solution. I have here two columns of sentences. Notice the difference between the simple and compound sentence. As you can see from our given examples, we need two simple sentences to form one compound sentence. We used words like and, but, and or to connect the two simple sentences together. These connectors are called conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are conjunctions that are used to join two independent clauses to form a compound sentence. These conjunctions are sometimes called fanboys. F for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. Study how each coordinating conjunctions are used in the following examples. For explains reason or purpose, just like because. For example, I go to the park every Sunday, for I love to watch the dogs on the lake. And adds one thing to another. Example, I go to the park every Sunday to watch the ducks on the lake and the shirtless men playing soccer. Nor used to present an alternative negative idea to an already stated negative idea. For example, I don't go for the fresh air nor really for the ducks, but shows contrast. An example sentence would be, The soccer in the park is entertaining in the winter, but it's better in the heat of summer. Or, on the other hand, presents an alternative or a choice. Example sentence, The men play on teams, shirts, or skins. Yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. It is similar to but. Example, I always take a book to read, yet I never seem to turn a single page. 
so indicates effect, result, or consequence. Example, I've befriend one of the soccer players, so now I have an excuse to watch the game each week. In our last example, we can say that compound sentences shows problem and solution. Study how compound sentences show problem and solution. Here is an example compound sentence. Ella is hungry, so she eats a lot. The two simple sentences are Ella is hungry. She eats a lot. The first simple sentence is the problem and the second simple sentence is the solution. The two simple sentences were joined together by the conjunction so. Now let's see if we can connect two simple sentences to form a compound sentence. Match the problem to their corresponding solution. Your time starts now! Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up! Here are the answers. Do we have the same answers? Thank you for answering. Now let's move to another activity. You just have to choose the most appropriate conjunction to go in the blank. I will give you 3 minutes to answer or you can pause this video and proceed answering. If you have questions, kindly ask your teacher. If you are done, Review your answers. Your time starts now.
plus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Here are the key answers. Thank you for doing your best. Keep studying well. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time!